Every real estate agent knows that when you make a sale, you send flowers. Now that's okay. Thank you notes are okay too. But that is not follow-up. Others think sending a company newsletter showing new listings is okay too. But believe me, that is wrong in so many ways. Remember this one thing. If you forget everything else, do not forget this. The only reason for follow-up is to create a relationship and keep it going, not to get a listing or a sale. Let's look at your newsletter. It is your number one follow-up tool. If all you do in your newsletter is list houses for sale or tell about those you have sold, I guarantee sooner or later your prospect will unsubscribe. Now, if all you do in Facebook or LinkedIn is post listings, your uh, connection is going to lose interest. So what do you do in all of your follow-ups? It's simple. You stop selling and start delivering good, solid information your prospect or client can use or will be interested in. Now, please don't tell me you can't write. Here is some ways that you can easily be creative. Answer a question you were asked this week. If one person wants to know it, a lot more do. Curate an interesting article you ran across. It doesn't have to be about real estate either. To reprint an article without plagiarizing, you do what is called to curate. To curate an article, write your own title, then write a short paragraph about what the article says and why you think it's important. Then post the entire article or at least the main parts of it. At the end, give the writer of the article credit and link back to it. Use Google to search for those articles. They're easy to find. Now, another good way to follow up is to call and say happy birthday. Now, calling is so much better than just sending a card. You know, you can use ghost messaging once a month to send birthday greetings to those who had birthdays that month. Take the numbers from your list. Now, the whole idea of follow-up is to communicate with your list without selling. Communicating this way shows that you are interested in helping, educating, and advocating. Something other than just to list or sell. Now, think about this. Five years from now, most of the people you're communicating with will not even think about somebody else listing their home and fully expect you to find their new home for them.